things. Is there a St. Kendra? St. Kendra. Well, there's about to be. Yeah, I know. That's a beautiful name. Amen. And our word for today on this Tuesday, January the 2nd, this memorial of Saints Basil the Great and Gregory Bishops and Doctors of the Church. Our word for today is spoke. Spoke is our word for today. And here to talk about it, Kendra Von Esch. Kendra, welcome. Happy New Year to you. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and our thoughts and prayers uh, for the repose of the soul of your father and thanksgiving mm-hmm. for his life and praying for all of you who love him and uh, are mourning his loss. Oh, thank you so much. That was so pretty. And guess who named me? It was him. Yeah, there you guess go. what? There is no St. Kendra. Well, there, <laughs> but there will be. There's, there will be, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, you know, we'll let God figure that one out. But uh, I, I always was curious because back in the day, so I'm 52, Kendra was not a popular name. I couldn't find a Disney license plate for my bike. I couldn't find a pencil that said Kendra on it. Never, ever, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, But he named me because he had a crush on a girl in high school. Now, how weird is that? I think Roxy and Rebel have some story behind them. (laughs) But now I'm more interested in... Kind of creepy, isn't it? I'm kind of, I'm more interested Uh. in the middle name, Vaughn. (laughs) <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> right. Now that's a married name. Oh, I got you. Okay. So that one, uh, that's a married name. Yeah. No, my middle name is Lynn. And oh, then they spell okay. it with one N. Again, okay. I can't, oh, can't they... find a Lynn, L Y N, anywhere. Well, very unique. Oh, too funny. All right. So let's do the word of the day because this one's a good one. Spoke. Mm. Not as in a spoke in a wheel. Right. I'm using it as in spoke. Just like as we hear in the creed that God spoke through the prophets. Mm. I think about how often in my journey I wanted God to speak to me Mm. and I didn't know his voice. Mm. I'm sure there are listeners out there who are like, I'm working on my prayer life. I want to do God's will. I just don't know his voice in my life. And I'll never forget for all those people who are trying to deepen their relationship with God, which means... That it means we spend our time with him, which is our currency with him, that we shut down the outside world and we listen. Half the time, all we do is talk. So we need to listen and let Mm. him speak to us. And so I was learning how to pray through the scriptures, another way that God speaks to us. We can hear voices in our hearts. I don't ever hear an audible voice. I know many people do, and I think that's amazing, but not me. I have thoughts that come into my head, and then Mm. I have to discern, is that God's voice? Is that my voice? Is that Satan's voice? Mm. And so when I was learning how to pray one day, God spoke to me through the scriptures. I wasn't very consistent. I'm sure when you guys were learning how to pray, you had one day good, Skipped a couple days mm. and went back, had another couple good days and skipped another three. Like that was me. I was all over the map. And then God spoke to me in the gospel. Uh, what was it? <laughs> now, now I forget what he spoke to me about. Okay. It was pick up your cross daily mm. and follow me. And the word daily jumped out. Literally slapped me in the face, literally, figuratively. I never use those words right. But I felt a big old slap in the face with that word. Mm. And I sat with it. I'm like, Lord, what are you speaking to me? I'm listening, but I don't get it. So I sat for longer and I sat for longer and I finally got it. Kendra, he said, the name that my dad gave me. (laughs) Kendra, you have to pray daily. Every single day you have to give your heart to me. Every single day you have to be humble and walk with me. It's a daily walk. So that, my friends, is how God spoke to me very early in my journey. And then the more I listened, the more he spoke. Mm. How amazing. Has he spoken to you? I know he has spoken to you. Well, and in my in my life, he speaks to me exactly in the way that you described. Either I hear him as I'm reading his word And I have an understanding that I would not have outside of the spirit stirring within me, or I have kind of a thought that comes to me and I I assume if it's a good one, it must be him, (laughs) but no, not, not in a physical way, not audibly. I know some, some do hear him. No, I don't hear him in that way. 
what a blessing though uh, yeah, to be able to uh, be in that in that place where you're aware and you're listening for God all day long he comes in nature and everything that we consume with our eyes and our ears we just need to be awake amen yeah. here's to being awake happy new year to you uh, Kendra can't wait to spend the rest of the year delving into the scriptures with you thank you Amen. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Thanks for the prayers, Dave. <laughs> All right. God bless you. We're still praying. Thanks for joining us on Morning Offering uh, for this Tuesday, which feels like a Monday. We'll be back on Wednesday, which will feel like a Tuesday. Huh? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> huh? what?